Hello and welcome. This is Stevenson News. I am Veronica Danny Boy. Delegates at the People's Democratic Party's National Elective Convention began voting to elect party executives this afternoon. It commenced after a motion to dissolve the McCarthy led caretaker committee of the party was passed by former Senate President David Mark. About uh, 2,000 delegates from across the country are in Abuja voting to fill the positions of the national chairman and several other national offices at the Eagle Square. The party has been under the supervision of different interim national executives since May 2015. TVC News correspondents who are currently monitoring the voting process in Abuja join us now for updates. Ayo, has the process, the voting process started? What more can you tell us? Veronica, at about 4 p.m., the caretaker committee of McCarthy was dissolved. And right now, what you have here now is the voting process, and they're doing it alphabetically. Somna Sambo is also here with me, and we'll be going around this Eagle Square to get information, to gather information, and everything seems to be going smoothly. So now, what new can you tell us? Well, the newest thing is that um, the uh, convention has started very, very well, and then what is going on right now is that the election has actually started, and we are waiting in Enugu State to kick off, you know, its own voting process. We've had states like um, Abia, Adamawa, Anambra, Benue, you know, Bayelsa, all voting. We've had former President Gulok Jonathan voting. We've had former Senate President David Mark voting, and all of that. So now it's the turn of Enugu State, and we'll be having the Deputy Senate President uh, Ike Kweremadu vote. Now, some of the tensions that we've had here is that the Southwest um, aspirants have all stepped down for one person. That's uh, Professor Tunde Adeniron. Yes, Professor <laughs> Tunde Adeniron is now the consensus candidate. There was a statement issued by uh, Senator Rashid Ladoja, former governor for your state, yes. saying that all the aspirants have decided, in the interest of the Southwest, to step down for Adeniron. And as a result of that, stepping down and withdrawal. Uh, Professor Tindu Adenura is now the consensus candidate. So we now have three um, contestants for the position of chairmanship, which is uh, Uche Sekundus, Professor Tunde Adenura, and then Raymond Dokwesi. I had Raymond Dokwesi yes, because yes, yes. when I saw him this morning, I thought he was going to throw in the two well earlier this morning, but the guy is still st sticking around. Yes. Actually, he said that he is not going to step down despite the offer um, of some monetary you know, compensation to him to step down. He says no. He has his reasons for deciding to run and he will continue to run. Despite the fact that some people have been talking to him and they have even said that it, it will amount to blackmail if he contests against Uche Secondos. What they have been saying is that he should have stepped down like other South uh, Western candidates stepped down for Professor Ad Tunde Adeniron. But despite you know, his insistence, this fight is straight between Professor Tunde Adeniron and Uche Secondos. And one thing I would also like to inform our viewers is that a list has been going on in circulation, yes. which is known as the... Uh, the they call it the unity list. Yeah, they call very, it the very unity funny. List where so many state um, delegates have all been given this list by several uh, uh, persons now. This unity list is said to have emanated from uh, most of the governors who have had a consensus agreement that these persons, about 21 persons, should be voted for, for all the 21 offices that have been listed. There and they cut across. Are they giving the delegates this list? Yes. It's like so, teleguiding the delegates on yes, what to yes. do. Yes, yes. It's like a consensus agreement between delegates. We saw this list being circulated, and with this list, what we have as information is that. With this list, the convention is just a formality now. So this thing that is happening here now is just like a formality. Yes, yes, because yes. on this list, the chairman is said to be from River State. Yes. That's Prince Uche Secondos yes. on this list. Yes. So this is the list. And I, when you see this, is this the purpose of this? 
has it not been defeated? Well, when we ask some of the top eggs of the party, some you know supporters of the party, why this list could have been circulated without uh, either the electoral committee or other top party leaders ensuring that such uh, list is removed out of circulation, we are told that consensus building is one of the key factors of the People's Democratic Party. So if some group of persons, whether in the name of governors or top hierarchy of the party or some um, interest group agree to bring out a unity list that is acceptable, but that the formal thing must still be done, and w which is the one that will be acceptable by INEC, who are here as observers, the one that will be acceptable by international observers and other keen lovers of democracy. So despite this list emerging, it is whatever comes out of this that will be the acceptable thing. So despite this list still being in existence, we expect that uh, yeah. the formal voting process will either go with this or denounce this. So, and then one other key issue that came out of this is that one of the aspirants for the office of the PDP national treasurer, uh, in the person of Alhaji Adewale Adeyonju, who was the uh, former or the outgoing auditor, cried out that he had been denied, you know, screening by the screening committee uh, that, you know, held screening for all the aspirants. He said he was denied uh, uh, of this screening because his task clearance was not genuine and that his voter's card was not genuine. But he brought all of this and when we looked at it, these things were all genuine. So we now ask him, why would this happen? So he was like saying that some people are insinuating that he was with the Kashamu faction and the... Uh, 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 Ali Modu Sheriff faction, so that's why they feel that he's a threat and that his position has already been given. I, so. I, I know Somna is so loaded. Somna could go on and on and on and on. One other side slipper here. You know, before the convention, we were told that nobody is going to be allowed to campaign or to do anything. Now, if my cameraman, if my camera guy shoots, if they are shot, you could see Shakarao 2019 in the main podium. Everybody, they are carrying Shakarao 2019. Shakarao is, used to be the former governor of Kano State. You can see. And they said it's that anybody, according to Patrick Okoa, anybody doing this is going to be disqualified expressly. But these people are not ready to listen. And a lot of other aspirants, we saw, we saw them earlier with their banners, with their billboards, everybody, and campaigning directly. And if you want to ask me, say a lot of people will think that this is this, a big distraction to this convention. Because 2019, we've not even had an ex co executive in the People's Democratic Party, and they are talking about the presidential, um, um, his presidential aspirant in 2019. Well, that's the way it usually they, happens. They started, they started about 420, the voting. And if we have 2,112 delegates, so when are they expected to finish this exercise? Well, the thing is that in total, we're told that the total delegate list is about 2,800. Usually, if you follow how the conventions have always been held in uh, uh, 2010, when it was uh, at Tiku and uh, Jonathan, for example, okay. at the presidential, uh, you know, uh, presidential uh, contest, you see that it ended like about 4 to 5 a.m. And then the thing is that if you followed in 2014, it's the same thing. So we may likely get this result coming up, out, uh, coming out around maybe 3 or 4 a.m. or even 5 a.m. Okay. And, and one other issue that I want to say is that some, now. some top party leaders were booed in this place. Like Kashamu, when he came in here, he was booed by some of the delegates. And then we also have the issue of Olisa Metu being denied access into the state bus. These are some of the trends, you know, that are ongoing here and more details will be brought to our viewers. Okay, one thing we promise you is that we are just going to be here and every hour on the hour, on our news hour, we are just going to we'll be giving you updates of what is happening here at the Eagle Square. That is where the People's Democratic Party is holding its national convention. Over to you, Veronica. Well, thank you, gentlemen, Ayo and uh, Sumner Sambo for those details. So much to talk about, but uh, in our subsequent bulletin, we will be back with our correspondents there at the Eagle Square to give you more details on what is happening at the PDP National Convention.